The final hours of Decision 2022 with polls across Arizona opening in just eight hours. The polls say our statewide races are likely to be close and we may not know the election results for several days. News for Tucson's Eric Fink spoke with voters and a political science expert. He's live with more tonight, live from downtown and why Arizonans need to be patient as those votes come in. Eric. Yeah, guys, patience will be the name of the game. Two years ago, President Biden beat former President Trump here in Arizona by 10,500 votes. It took nine days after the election to declare a winner. In 2020, more than 3.3 million ballots were cast. Now, we won't see anything close to 3 million ballots in this midterm election, but like two years ago, we may not have definitive results for several days. I have you down as signed up for an eight o'clock canvas to get out the vote tomorrow morning. And I'm just calling to confirm that you'll be here. Tonight, candidates and their teams working to turn out voters tomorrow, making sure those final calls and texts are being made. But when the polls close tomorrow night at seven and the first big batch of results comes in around eight, that's just the beginning of what will likely be a few days of counting by election workers up and down our state. Arizona voters need to be patient tomorrow night. In all likelihood, when we head to bed, we won't know who our governor or potentially our, sen our next senator will be. Samara Klar is a political science professor at the U of A. She says Democrats will be leading in the early vote, much of which will be released tomorrow night after the polls close. But as the night goes on and Tuesday goes into Wednesday going into Thursday, that lead is likely to shrink. Given that we'll be relying on a difference of potentially just a few tens of thousands of votes, a few thousand votes, it is going to take a bit of time. I will be like everyone else. I'll be waiting up all night. I'll be checking my phone, my email probably in the middle of the night, waiting to see if there's results. But the fact is we need to wait a few days. We spoke to some voters who say they're fine to wait. I'm fine with that. Well, of course you want to see the results right away, but I'm, if that's what it takes to make sure that the votes are honest and everything, I'm good with it. Voter Carrie Meyer says the waiting can turn to worry. It's worrisome because I think people, some people can't wait, they get angry, they make threats, and when people are threatened, then good people don't continue with their jobs as election officials. And so it's scary for election officials, I think. The election is, is secure, and we've seen that. We've seen it. We've seen the audit, we've seen inquiries, and no matter who wins, it looks like that's going to be the winner fair and square, and I hope that both parties are willing to accept the results. Now the polls open at 6 a.m. tomorrow. They close at 7 p.m., and after several complaints of voter intimidation in our state were sent to the Department of Justice today, we learned that the DOJ plans to monitor the polls here in Arizona in five counties, including right here in Pima, Maricopa, Pinal, and Yavapai. Live tonight downtown, I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.